Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the first clip of the Getting Started series for Robot Structure Analysis. In today's clip, we will be looking at creating grids and levels within Robot. So without further ado, let's go straight to the interface. And you don't need to worry if you're using an older or the latest version. The interface hasn't changed in many, many, many years. Now, one of the things is that robot is not super intuitive and it's got quite an intimidating interface and stuff that you need to get used to so hopefully with this getting started series i'll be able to break it down into bite-sized chunks because there's a lot of finicky details and things that you do to just stay aware of as you work within robot itself so within the interface what we're going to do is we are going to switch to the x y x plane and we're going to start off with our grids and levels so go to geometry tab click on axis definition and this is where we determine our grid lines so of course the first one on the x-axis is at position zero then i can manually add at position 5 10 15 20 and 25 meters all right so that's the the slow way of doing it if you've got consistent grid spacing, so you can just go to distance, set it to five, number of repetitions, five, and then just remember to set the start position as zero and click add, and there you go. You can do the same thing in the y direction. So number of repetitions, five, distance, five, and click apply, and you've got your grid. And the nice thing is that you can snap to these intersection points, which is really very useful. All right, so we've got our grid down. You can change your grid. So if I go back, go to access definition, go to Y and change the numbering to A, B, C, etc. I can click apply and close. You can see there I've got numbered grids and then also uh, grids with letters. All right, what we do next is establish our stories. Go to geometry, click on stories. And this will be in the Z direction. So I'm going to hit define manually. And what we want to do is we want to set our baseline. So we're going to set at height zero, click add, and that's story one. And we can just click in there. So double click in there and change the name to ground. Right, I'm going to set, you can just say then new template for selected story. That's fine. I'm going to set the next height to let's say nine meters i'm going to click add and i'm going to change this to eve level all right again new template and now just to keep track of this so these values are cumulative all right so if you want to now set your apex height which is let's say for argument's sake 2.5 meters higher than your eaves level the height you need to place in here is 2.5 and not the total height. Right, so I'm going to say add. And you can see there that there's the height value, but there's the actual level. And now that's at 11.5. going to double click in there. And then change that to apex level or height, whichever one you prefer. And now again, that's fine. I'm going to click apply. All right. And now on the left hand side, you'll actually see that these stories are available for selection now. If you want to see those stories, what you can do is you can actually rotate your model. And you can see there are all of your grids and there are your levels as well. And these will become references in your model. All right. So I'll keep on working with this particular one. And yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. That is our first clip of the Getting Started series. So your grids and your stories or levels. And in future series clips, we will cover adding members, etc., setting job preferences, and all of those sort of things. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this short clip was insightful. And if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, please put it in the comment section below. And remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope that you have an absolutely epic day further.